Hi guys, this video is about Pomodoro Timer apps. In this video, I'm going to show you three best rated mobile apps that I have used in the past. These mobile apps really help me to boost my productivity and help me to go through my finals during my college years. Right now, it helps me to work effectively at home. If you are not familiar with the Pomodoro method, you might want to learn more about it and I recently made a video about the Pomodoro technique explaining all the stages and how to effectively use this technique in order to increase your productivity. So if you are interested, uh, watch this video, I'm going to link it. And by the way, if you are interested in similar content, consider subscribing to my channel as I make videos about personal finance and productivity. I'm really excited to share with you these three mobile apps. If you want to know about pros and cons of these three apps, please stick till the end of the video as I will be going through all of them one by one. So let's get started from the app number three in my list. And this is called Focus Keeper. I'm going to walk through this app right now and show you how you can use it and what are the um, advantages and disadvantages of this app. Now let's head to this app. And when you open this app, you will see the timer right away. And it's by default set up to 25 minutes and 25 minutes is the original Pomodoro timer interval for each task and this app is very simple and so easy to use you don't have to do anything you just need to press this button and when you press the timer goes on and if you can hear it has some sound like the clock ticking and if you like it you can leave it as is or if you don't like it you can turn it off on the bottom of the screen you can see the round and each round consists of four goals. So the main features and things that I really like about it is that it is very simple to use and it has free version. So the app that I've just opened is a free version. So if you ever want to upgrade and get some more features, you can get the pro version. But for this free version, you will get this simple display, very nice and it works for the basic things like if you just want to uh, have the 25 minutes interval. So on the other side, this app has some mm, drawbacks and uh, since this is a free version and this is ad free, so you are not paying anything, you get some limitations. For example, the charts show only the last three days. So other than that, if you want to customize your settings, like say you want to have the interval of like maybe 40 minutes instead of 25 minutes, then you want to upgrade to the pro version, which is paid version. This is very nice, but has so many limits. You might sometimes want to have longer intervals and you might want to consider another app in that case. And now about the app number two in my list, which is Be Focused. So some of the very nice features are uh, you can create the to-do list right here. So if you press this button, you are going to be able to create some lists. So for example, if you press that plus button, uh, create to-do list right now after you create your to-do list you can just go and press this button and your clock starts ticking and you can work on your task so this is very nice and you can just toggle between these tasks and it also has the stats so you can go to the statistics and compared to, to the previous app that i showed you it has the statistics for a much longer time so you can see it for the today yesterday for the week and for months and even for this year and all you can see even all your data so that's very nice if you go to the settings then you can change the work interval so say you want it to be 45 minutes Okay. Yep. And then you can change also short breaks, say it's going to be 60 minutes. You can change the long break to 30 minutes. So here in this app, you have much more ability to customize your intervals 
and change these settings. And the only drawback for this, I think, ads that are on the bottom of the screen. So that's it about this app. And let's move to my favorite Pomodoro timer. App. Okay, now uh, let's talk about Flora. That's my favorite app that I'm using right now. And I think everybody should have at least one Pomodoro timer in order to track in order to boost the productivity. Okay, uh, the first thing it has, similar to the previous one, is to-do list. So you can write to-do list here and then toggle them. So you can also put the reminders and you can just set the goal progress. You might want to tag your habit. So this is a very really nice feature. And it also has the statistics. So if you want to look at your stats, that is so nice. It doesn't have any limits. You can just look at any time you want. So, and it has much more powerful charts, easy to understand. So, very nice. Another thing that is very different from other apps is that it motivates you to work more, to be productive. And when I say that it motivates you, it's really something nice. So, when you start your interval, when you start working on your task, say I started, here you see that there is some price function and if you want, you can just, okay, I just killed my tree. So, uh, so say I want to plant my tree and I just want to make sure that I'm not going to touch my phone or to get disturbed. You can set your price so and it is going to be real price so you can set five bucks five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars whatever price you want i think it's hundred the most so and you can add your credit card and you can pay with that so when if you kill your tree if you don't finish your task and get disturbed then the price that you set is going to be charged. It is very motivating and you might like this feature. When you plant every time, it's going, the tree is going to grow. And this tree, and the more trees you have, the more beautiful uh, garden or forest you're gonna have. So this is also something nice. It's like a game, so pretty nice. And you can see how your garden is growing and it feels just so motivating it feels like a game it's not like you are forcing yourself you know to work or study for and other than that another thing that i really like is that you can share your you can share your timer with some other people so you can invite your friends in so you can work on the task together you just have to input from contacts or from Facebook or you can use the QR scanner and if you're sitting next to each other uh, you are going to have your tree grown up and your friend is going to have his or her tree grown up so this is a very nice feature I really love this app and currently I'm using this app together with my little sisters so I'm trying to teach them how to use some certain apps that are going to help them while they're getting prepared for the exams and that really helps creators of this app they say that uh, whatever price you pay they are going to plant a tree a real tree so i think this is something really nice uh, even if you pay even if you kill your tree in this app they are going to replace this uh, kill tree with a new tree and they're gonna just plant it for you. So I think this is also uh, a very nice social impact. Um, and why not to do that, right? I think it's obvious that I really love Flora and this uh, focus keeping app was really game changing for me. And I think I'm going to use it much longer. And yeah, the previous two apps are also good if you just want to set a timer and count your intervals so they have the basic function and they uh, and they also do their task so um, consider having one of these apps and using one of them just to boost your productivity and help 
you to focus on certain tasks whenever you want. Um, by the way, if you found some value in this video, please hit that like button as it helps me to grow my channel and make more similar content. And thank you for your time watching this video. I hope this video was useful for you and you found some value in this video.